Good evening everyone, my name is Patrick Rice and I am a trade union workplace rep with GMB Durham Local Authority branch and I have the pleasure of being their delegate to this year's trade union congress here in Liverpool. This is my mini video blog if you will um, about what happens each day at conference or the key standout points for me with this being my first ever TUC congress. Um, today, Monday, has been another busy day, been a very business-like day, um, a lot of important things to get through. Some of them related to things like the NHS in crisis, that was one of the morning ones, education in the UK, and indeed it could be argued how that's in crisis at the moment. Um, that was the early morning session, and that was the nature of some of the motions this morning. Um, that was broken up by our General Secretary's address and that was a very well received speech and one of the key phrases that stood out for me from that was when the General Secretary said that what we need is an economy that rewards work not wealth. So I'm going to make a mental note of remembering that one because that's a very very good strap line. It's very true indeed. We need an economy that rewards work not wealth. Um, we then continued with more motions, uh, motions on issues including things like violence at work, sexual violence in the workplace and sexual harassment. Over lunch I took the opportunity to attend a fringe session and the one that looked appealing and interesting to me was actually The Windrush Scandal is Far From Over, that was the title, and to say it was an eye opener for me is an understatement. I did not realise how truly scary, how honestly horrible and terrible the situation was for the Windrush generation. But that was a hugely, hugely enlightening and informative fringe session, so I'm really pleased I attended that. For the afternoon session, we continued with those many motions. Uh, the first theme of the afternoon was motions around economy and the cost of living. Second half of the afternoon, the themes were industrial action and protecting our rights. And the final motion of the day, um, it went to a vote. And the votes were so close as a show of hands, it went to a formal card vote. So I had some high excitement for my first Congress. Um, that was really good. Um, that was really seeing democracy of Congress in action and how it works. And then to wrap off the day and the business part of conference and Congress today, there was an address by Eric Campos Banto, who is the General Secretary of CUT Chile. Uh, he gave a speech through a translator, but it was rousing, it was impassioned, and it was hugely well received by Congress and it received a standing ovation as a result. So that was a really good round off to the day. And then finally, after conference was finished, I attended another fringe session, an evening fringe session. And um, this one was about Labour's New Deal for working people. And that was really, really good because it was attended by Angela Reyna amongst others. And after the fringe meeting itself had finished, I actually got the opportunity to speak to Angela Reinda one to one, just the two of us, um, and she was really down to earth, and she told me a lot about her own history, about her trade union background, and rounded off with her hopes for the future under a Labour government, which is what we all hope for next year or very, very early January 2025. I'll close now and leave you with a video montage of scenes from today's conference and congress. I hope you find them interesting. If you have enjoyed this video, please do consider hitting the share button. The whole purpose is to promote trade unions, promote the work of trade unions, and let as many people as possible know what trade unions actually do, and more to the point specifically with congress, what Congress is about, what it does, and the type of motions that actually get past that Congress. So, very good morning, everyone. It is Monday morning. It is day two of Congress, and I'm just about to make a short walk from the hotel across to the actual conference centre itself. So, I'm looking forward to today's events and a number of good motions to get through.
tremendous pressure, weight lifts have spiraled out of control, and there are growing concerns over quality and safety. Congress, at the core of many of these problems, lies understaffing. Proper workforce planning was effectively abandoned by the Tories 10 years ago, and now the chickens have well and truly come home to roost. President Congress, Trudy Chi, GMB, speaking for the So we're pleased to second motion six and please support it. We're here today to say we really mean this. We really want to do the things that have been said at this rostrum, some great stuff. Safe working conditions, housing, education, the ability to retire with dignity. All of these things come into conflict with the fact that our society is run on the basis of the profit motive and not on the basis of what's right and good for the people in this country. On a monument to it, we know there is power in a union, but for nearly 30 years that power has not reached further across the world of work, which is changing and becoming more exploitative. Vengo de Chile, un país que se ubica al extremo sur de América, que ha visto entre sus hijos más ilustres de la clase trabajadora a Luis Emilio Recabarre, a Teresa Flores, a Gabriela Mistral, a Violeta Parra, a Víctor Jara and gave their lives for socialism and for the workers' struggle, as was the case until his last breath of the comrade president, Salvador Agen. But somebody who's indefatigable, somebody who tells it like it is, and somebody who takes on more jobs than I can possibly <laughs> entertain. <laughs> Angela Rayner. <laughs> Thank you, 